Welcome guys, this is Tech Knowledge Made Basic. What we're going to discuss today in this tutorial is the charms bar. And we've accessed that before. In order to access it, just go ahead and take your pointer and put it all the way in the top right hand corner of the screen. And there you see it activates the charms and just scroll all the way down once you do that. And what we have here, we have the search, share, start, devices, and settings icons. We're going to go through every single one of these and, and show you what, what they do and, and what their purpose is. And this charms bar actually ser serves a huge purpose within Windows 8. It does quite a bit. Uh, starting with the search, let's go, do, go ahead and do a left click over the search. And what it's going to bring us up to is the app screen. And this screen actually is a breakdown of what the old start menu used to be that was on the bottom left hand side in within the desktop view. And I what I can do is I can take my pointer and I can just scroll across the screen to, sh to see all the different programs that are installed on my computer, all the different apps that came with the computer. But I can also do a search for it. So if I go ahead and reinitiate that search and type in, say, the word control panel, I can simply just type in the word control and it pops up right here on the left hand side. And that will allow me to open, go ahead and open up the control panel. So you can do a, a search for the programs on your computer and for the, for the also different apps that are on your computer to open them up within, within that search. It also allows you to change to look for different or do a search for different settings on your computer. So, but if I si simply just type in the letter P, just a, an abundance of different settings come up that allow me to adjust different things on the computer. So we'll go ahead and initiate the search again. So it allows you to go through the apps, through the settings, also to search for a specific file that's on your computer. If you have a picture or just a specific uh, file that you may not know where you put it, you can go ahead and type in the name or just a certain part of that file, and it's going to go ahead and do a search for it. But what it, what you can also do, it's it's got the apps here below those options, and starting with the and these are the default apps that come as part of Windows 8. And what I can do is I can go ahead and click on the games just just to show you, and that brings up the the games app. And if I want to search for a certain game, let's just say like Call of Duty. Actually, Halo's up right now. It's one of my favorite games, but we'll just type uh, Call of Duty here. Hit Enter. And there it is. Uh, it brought up the Call of Duty uh, games and some of the previous games that, that are associated with the Call of Duty franchise. So I can do a search for specific games. What I can also do is I can go into another app. Let's just say my Finance app. And let, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that word Call of Duty. And I can and within here, see as it, it shows me, I can go ahead and type a company name or a symbol to go ahead and search for a specific stock. Let's go, go ahead and look for uh, Microsoft. And I just type in the word Microsoft. There we go. And there it is, MSFT. It's in the NASDAQ. We'll go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it gives you all the information pertaining to the Microsoft stock and any uh, news related to it. So. What the search allows you to do is basically do a search within your computer, but it also allows you to do a search within the actual applications that are on your computer, the default apps that came with it. So you can, the same way, you can go, go to weather and search for a specific city. Let's just say Orlando, Florida. There we have it. I go ahead and do a left click on it. It's going to give me the, the weather to lovely Orlando, Florida. So as you can see, you can do, you can find just about anything within your computer and also do a search within apps with, with that search in the charms. So let's go ahead and go back to the charms. And the next one we're going to click on is called share. If we do a left, a left click on that, I have an app open. And right now I actually have the weather for Orlando, Florida open. And what that share allows me to do is it allows me to actually send this link to an email address. Or if I click this people here, it allows me to also actually share that with a uh, social networking address like a, a Facebook or a Twitter account. So with the name simply applies, share, it allows you to share that page. Now not everything on the computer can be shared. If you're in the desktop view within Windows 8 you actually can't use this feature. And I'll show you what I mean. If we go to our desktop view by simply clicking on our desktop tile within the start screen and I initiate the charms, I click on share. As you can see here, nothing can be shared from the desktop. So that's a feature that can only be used within the start screen itself. So let's go ahead and go back to the start screen. So now we've gone through the search, the share, and as the start sim implies, it basically just does what it does. It takes you right back to the start screen. So we've used that many times in previous tutorials, and no need to uh, for any explanations there. So anytime you want to go back to the start screen, that's that's one of the ways you can do it. Now the other icon is devices. If we do a left click on that. 
what this does is it allows you to change the settings to anything that's uh, hooked up to your computer other than your your current uh, monitor like right now I have a desktop set up but if I had a let's see dual screen or like a second screen and I had a second monitor or even a television or even a projector hooked up this will give me different options for it Let's just click on that so we can see and it gives me the option to duplicate to extend um, to to view from the second screen only maybe I want to uh, switch off my current monitor and just go to say a, a larger television that I have, have hooked up to the computer so that's what that allows me to do and, and that's devices so like I said you can hook up to an external device to that and actually uh, change the settings through the device the device icon the last thing is the settings if we do a left click on a left click on that now what this does it allows you to change some of your network settings it allows you to adjust your volume uh, if it's a laptop you'll you can change the brightness uh, on your screen you can turn your notifications on and off and the the big thing though here is the power button that that, that, is, that is very huge when you click on that do a left click this is where you have the options to restart your computer to shut down your computer or to put your computer to sleep now you can also do a control alt delete on your computer to sign out and uh, also turn it off that way but this is the main uh, feature within this uh, start within the charms that you'll be using quite a bit which of course will be you know shutting or restarting your computer down so that's how you shut and restart Windows 8 so let me just go over that one more time make sure click on settings that's it that's it right here that'll bring up this this part of the uh, charms and go ahead and just click on do a left click over left click over power and like I said here are the options for sleep shut down and restart and keyboard that just pertains to the type of language that you have on your computer language settings keyboard settings and uh, the notifications what this is you can if I do a left click over a left click over you can see that I can hide the notifications if I don't want them to appear and what those are when you plug in a device or something on your computer and you're in the desktop view you'll get a notification in the top right hand corner letting you know that you know something is plugged into your computer and also you'll see here we have the the tiles also give you notifications it's letting me know that there's 15 updates available for different things on the computer so we can we can hide those that way it doesn't uh, appear if it seems to bother you or something but that's what that notification is for in the network settings and volume but the biggest thing within here is the power settings now the second biggest thing I would say would be the change the PC settings if you if we do a left click on that that's gonna give us a lot of different options but we're gonna go over that in uh, some future tutorial because that's got a lot of things that we gotta go over but as you can see the charms does quite a bit for Windows 8 you have the search where you can search within your computer or within a specific app you have the share where you're able to share a specific um, link or something that you want to share maybe to an email or a social networking site to somebody's account the start will simply just take you back to the start screen the devices that'll allow you to manipulate or change the settings for an external device uh, that's hooked up to the computer and the settings which is the, the big one and that's what allows you to adjust your brightness your volume uh, hide your notifications and the biggest thing the power here allows you to restart shut down or put your computer to sleep so that's where those options are if you are wondering but that concludes this tutorial I do thank you guys for watching and I appreciate your time